Hi everyone, this is QSAM Accounting. This video aims to help accountants working at a global company prepare gap adjusting entries to converge operating lease and local monthly close into finance lease in group IFRS close. Until 2018, almost all the lease contracts were accounted for as operating lease because it is very difficult to meet the conditions for finance lease or all the companies want to avoid higher debt equity ratio from the finance lease accounting. However, from 2019, all the lease contracts except for short-term lease and small lease should be accounted for as finance lease under the new IFRS 16. If you are working at a local company whose parent company is listed at Europe or Asian Stock Exchange, you need to do a local gap close first, and then you need to also prepare IFRS-based trial balance and unload it into your parent company's consolidation system. While lease contracts are booked as operating lease in local statutory close, they should be booked as a finance lease in your parent company's consolidated financial statements in IFRS. Therefore, you are required to make gap adjusting entries to convert the operating lease in local gap trial balance into finance lease in IFRS trial balance for your parent company. Under operating lease method, we can simply book the annual lease payment as rent expenses for the period. So the accounting treatment is so simple. However, the accounting treatment for a finance lease is very complicated. At the date of a lease contract, we need to compute the present value of total lease payment using the inc internal rate of return or incremental borrowing rate. And then we'll recognize an asset and a liability at the present value. The asset will be depreciated over either the lease term for the lease contract or the useful life of the leased asset, depending on the options or conditions, such as transfer of title, bargain purchase. For the lease liability, we'll apply the effective interest method to accrue interest expense for the period before booking annual lease payment. Do we have to prepare the gap adjusting entries ourselves? No. If that's the case, we all have to work overtime every day. Usually, all the global companies develop this group standard template and distribute it to local entities for gap adjusting entries. In general, the template is designed user-friendly. All you have to do is just fill out the monthly lease payment schedule highlighted in yellow and then the template will automatically generate the gap adjusting entries. You can simply copy the entries and add them to local trial balance to prepare IFRS trial balance. I'm happy to share the standard template that I prepared. Please visit my blog at blog.naver.com slash global accounting 01 and you can download it for free. Let me show you how the template works in a real Excel file. As you see in the screen, the template is vacant, very neat and clean. I prepared this template easy and user-friendly as it can be. So all you have to do is just fill out the cells highlighted in yellow. First, you need to put the close period date, month end, and your entity's borrowing rate and fill out the monthly lease payment schedule. That's it. Then the template will run automatically through built-in functions and generate gap adjusting entries at the bottom. You can simply copy the entries and add them to your local TB to convert your local gap TB into IFRS TB. If you are doing January 2019 close, please put the close period date in the B1 cell. 
then the template compute the financial impact summary only for the period at the bottom, which will be used to make gap adjusting entries. If you're doing September 2020 close, please change the close period date in the B1 cell. Then the template again compute the financial impact summary only for the period since the date of lease contract until close month end. For those who want to prepare the template themselves, I'll show you how in detail in a separate video. Thank you very much for watching this video.